What's up guys? Today on Bitcoin Daily, we are covering this big move by Bitcoin. And also, we are covering CEO of BitMEX stepping down and also other news. Stay tuned right now. What up, what up, what up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Bitcoin Daily. Today, we're jumping back into some more news because a lot of things have been happening in the last two weeks and we want to keep you guys updated. So first things first, let's go ahead and take a look at the market, see what's going on today, see where it is. As you guys know, Bitcoin and the majority of the market is in the green today. If you, if you just scroll down here the last 24 hours, you will see a lot of green, lots of green. We love green, don't we? So um, Bitcoin is up 2.29%. It went up as high as around, uh, let's see, the high... Ten thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars. Um, yesterday it was trading around the ten thousand six hundred range, and we told you guys ten thousand six hundred was a minor support where we we're looking for uh, entries. Uh, that was our first entry for support, and then our second one was ten thousand four hundred. So um, we did take trades here at the ten thousand six hundred mark. Oh, you guys can't even see. Hold on. There you go. Sorry. Apologize about that. Um, so, yeah, so 10,600 was where we were entering our trades. Um, 10,800 was our first target, which, as you can see, we blasted through. Um, and it was also part of this Fibonacci level right here. And then um, now it looks like we're at the top of this trend, as you guys can see that we drew here. As you guys can see, this trend line starts all the way I just moved a support by mistake guys look how far back this trend goes all the way to the bottom of March 13th that was a day of COVID where everything crashed right so that trend line that's when we started that trend line and look at how far we gotta go to even catch back up to this jeez Come on, let me make this smaller so I can why where where's the market here it is i was like where is the market at um so you guys can see um it used the it used this trend as support right here uh used it as support again then we fell below it we broke through when we broke through we blasted off we used it as support again and now we're using it as a resistance so this is a level that we're currently watching and looking at um and that's where we're currently uh, facing resistance and getting rejected at. So um, that plus it's correlated basically with the next resistance zone, which is 11,000, as we guys always tell you, psychological resistance because it is a big whole number. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we hit that. Then uh, Ethereum back to 350, uh, XRP back to 25 cents, uh, Bitcoin Cash at 234, um, Chainlink almost back above $10, up 6% today, Polkadot up 7% today, Litecoin, you know, Litecoin doesn't really like to move much. So um, let's jump right into the news. So the first thing is, um, as you guys know, we told you guys that Trump basically, Trump's tweet uh, dropped the price of Bitcoin. So as you guys can see here, data shows the single uh, Trump tweet marked the local Bitcoin bottom. So Bitcoin's uh, price has, let, I'm, I'm gonna read this, let me highlight it here for you guys. Bitcoin price has lacked directionality throughout the, the past several days and weeks with both buyers and sellers reaching an impasse. This has come about as it continues trading squarely in the middle of its long-held trading range between 10,200 and 11,200. Despite being close, closely correlated to the stock market, yesterday's intense equities rebound was not enough to pull Bitcoin higher. 
the cryptocurrency still remains below multiple key levels. One analytics firm but still believes that the traditional market's overall trend is critical for that of Bitcoin. They noted that President Trump's recent tweet regarding a potential second round of $1,200 stimulus check marked a local Bitcoin bottom. Bitcoin and the entire crypto market are continuing to lack any momentum which is damaging investors sentiment and making it increasingly unclear as to where it may trend in the days and weeks ahead this is certainly this certainly isn't the first time cryptocurrency has seen bouts of sideways trading this intense but without fail each one typically results in a massive swing that being said it's on, it may only be a matter of time before bitcoin makes a massive trend defining move where it begin where it begins trending next may depend on the progress surrounding the second round of stimulus in the US as data shows that developments surrounding this are having massive influence over Bitcoin. So you guys can see there um, that that stimulus in the US is definitely something that is affecting Bitcoin's price. So as they go back and forth in negotiations um, it is affecting Bitcoin's price. So you have to guys be sure to use those stop losses. Um, you want to make sure that when you're in profit, like right now for anyone that entered these trades, make sure you're taking profits and make sure you're using stop losses here. You don't want to get greedy and then lose out on those profits. Um, so that, that was the, the, one of the, the things that we're looking at today and well, the last couple days, as we mentioned yesterday. Uh, the next thing in news is BitMEX CEO Hayes steps down following U.S. criminal charges. Now, this is about the CEO of BitMEX, Arthur Hayes. He has he is now stepping down following the charges that we told that we told we reported uh, to you guys last Friday was it um, where uh, you know they they got hit by US prosecutors and and by the CFTC and the DOJ so Arthur Hayes chief executive officer of Bitcoin derivatives exchange BitMEX is stepping down from his position a week after U.S. prosecutors filed criminal charges against him. Hayes is leaving together with other top executive executives who are facing similar charges. So it looks like some of the people at BitMEX are stepping down. Um, we don't know what type of effect this is actually going to have on BitMEX itself. Um, but we do know that a lot of people are pulling their money out of BitMEX currently. Um, more than, as you can see down here, more than 37,000 Bitcoin worth around 387 million left the exchange just 24 hours after the charges were announced. Um, so, and then over the weekend, that became even more. They, they had a drop of about 30% of their Bitcoin holdings on their, on their exchange. About 30% of people on the exchange pulled out their money. Um, so, this is the statements uh, given by some of the executives and some of the, the people still in working on BitMEX. It says, these changes to our executive leadership mean... We can focus on our core business of offering superior trading opportunities for all our clients while maintaining the highest standards of corporate governance. Uh, so that was by David Wong. Um, they also said, we have an exceptional senior leadership team who are all well placed to continue the growth and development of the 100X group, including completion of the BitMEX user verification program. So um, as you guys know, they, they are implementing a KYC basically um, for BitMEX. For, so for anyone that's currently in BitMEX, uh, I think it's going to be implemented in the next six months. So because of these charges uh, by the SFTC, um, it might speed that up. So um, yeah, because of that, I've pulled my money out of BitMEX. I am, as a disclaimer, I no longer have been trading on bitmex for the last couple weeks actually um once they made the announcement about kyc i pulled my money out um and it looks like i was ahead of the curve um next uh the aftermath of cftc's charge against bitmex math massive withdrawals 
fake quotes and more legal action. So this is remaining on the subject of BitMEX. So following the charge against BitMEX and its operators, the US DOJ filed their own charges against the exchanges for founders and executives for violating the Bank Secrecy Act. Immediately after the charges were brought, the crypto industry became ablaze with conspiracy theories about why the charges were brought now. With fake quotes from Arthur Hayes, BitMEX's CEO, or ex-CEO, only adding fuel to the fire. As of press time, around 25% of the exchanges uh, Bitcoin reserves have been withdrawn. So uh, this number is higher now and probably after this news with uh, CEO stepping down, it will get only higher. Um, so yeah, as, as you can see, you know, this is all basic with the same thing. The CFTC announced yesterday that it filed a civil enforcement action charging five entities and three individuals that own and operate BitMEX. Um, with operating an unregistered trading platform and violating multiple CFTC regulations. Just a, just hours after the announcement, the DOJ came out with its own charge against the executives claiming they violated and conspired to violate the Bank Secrecy Act. Um, so yeah, so this just continues on all of that. Uh, the next thing was the fake quotes and massive withdrawals. So there were a bunch of, of withdrawals, like I said, over 30%. Um, and, and data from SKU indicated that long futures positions on BitMEX have also began unwinding. So it's definitely more and more going on with all of that. He, adding fuel to the fire, there was a series of fake tweets that basically it showed Arthur Hayes telling uh, the CEO of Binance and the CEO of uh, Alameda Research and FTX that the CFTC was coming for them next. So those apparently were fake tweets. Um, so then continuing on the same thing, basically the DOJ takes aim at privacy in new crypto framework. So the DOJ is basically putting, trying to put together a team to figure out, I guess, how to regulate crypto, um, which is kind of what we're all against because they just they're trying to get their hands on e on e everything basically right so in short much of the first section of the report simply provides an inner an overview of cryptocurrencies blockchains uh distributed ledgers more broadly and how they've been used over the past few years the report distinguishes between virtual currencies which are a digital representation of value and the and cryptocurrencies which it describes as a being in a subset of virtual currencies that are decentralized and based on blockchains it goes on to explain wallets miners and other aspects noting that while some transactions are private and easy to query on the blockchain some cryptocurrencies emphasize privacy and the doj does not appear to be a fan of those currencies obviously um so yeah so that that's basically uh, what's going on there they're trying to figure out you know <clears throat> how how to uh, how to regulate and and basically be able to, to regulate everything that's going on because they want control obviously um, as discuss as discussed in part one a wide, wide range of criminal activity may involve or be facilitated by the use of cryptocurrency on numerous occasions the DOJ has used available legal tools to pursue successful prosecutions of such activity um, it summarizes the US government's actions over the past few years in addition to criminal cases brought by the DOJ civil cases brought by the Secretary and Exchange Commission's and CFTC were highlighted such as SEC's case against Telegram which raised 1.7 billion in an ICO but ultimately had to refund investors um, so yeah so this is basically saying that um, they want control they want to be able to control everything they want to re regulate everything and I mean for for some of the reasons I understand so for the, the reasons of security you know uh, because a lot of uh, most uh, investors in, in crypto are retail investors and they don't really understand it they don't know how it works they're basically a lot a lot of people are investing because of hype you know people are doing crazy stupid things like taking out mortgages uh, taking out loans uh, you know 
taking out loans on their on on their assets to invest in brick in bitcoin and a lot of people are losing money because they they don't know what they're doing so i understand that aspect of it um of course there's there's always going to be criminals that are going to use anything you know to to conduct criminal activity that's a given um but don't just you know say that you know bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are just you know being used for criminal activities because you have to look in, inside the financial institutions themselves which conduct criminal activities all the time as we reported a, a few weeks ago uh, that there was a huge report where banks right banks were laundering money for terrorists so i mean until you figure out your own thing and within where you have control and you can see everything like don't don't try to come into cryptocurrencies because you can't even figure out your own uh you can't even handle your own criminal activities so how are you going to try to come in and and try to use that as a reason to regulate cryptocurrencies so that's where i don't agree with them i do see both sides of it but I'm not buying it um, now uh, another report um, as we as we know the UK banned derivatives uh, exchanges and, and trading on, on derivative exchanges um, so there's a report that says 97 percent of people consulted by the UK financial regulated regulator opposed crypto derivatives banned um, and it says the financial conduct authority ban on crypto derivatives sales to retail investors has set tongues wagging it is no mystery after a cons consultation process that closed Octo october 3rd 2019 with 97 percent of participants opposed to the prohibition the uk financial regulator still proceeded to issue the ban completely disregarding the overwhelming public input so as you guys know uh uk is banning um, retail clients from trading on crypto derivatives exchanges beginning January 6, 2021. Um, and, and it looks like they did a survey and 97% of people that was consulted by the UK financial regulator opposed that, yet they continued and went forward with it. Um, basically, uh, it said that they, con they concluded that crypto assets are complex and unreliable as reference assets for investments for retail consumers um in other news uh and th these are more bullish news right uh the market reacts to squares 50 million bitcoin buy so um it looks like square put one percent of its treasury assets into bitcoin a special breaking edition of the breakdown follows the market's reaction um he also discusses the market the market reaction from coinbase blah, blah, blah. yeah that doesn't matter um so it looks like square is which you know you can buy and sell um Bit bitcoin on their platform right you can actually invest in bitcoin on square's platform looks like they have actually put a bet a bullish bet on bitcoin themselves with a 50 million dollar purchase of the Bitcoin asset um, and then last but not least Bitcoin options volume on CME jumps 300% as traders take bullish bets so it looks like uh, the trading volumes for the CME Bitcoin options surged as traders made bull call spreads anticipating a rally so those are two very bullish uh, things in the market especially this one uh, as people are as expecting and anticipating uh, a Bitcoin rally and you know to kind of go with that you see that Bitcoin was green today it is green today and it's pushed up today so uh, we're gonna keep watching this we gave you guys uh, our, a bit of a breakdown on Bitcoin's price and tomorrow we will do a market analysis to see where we're at with that so um, that's pretty much it guys we covered all the news we have for you today tomorrow we will get back to you with a market analysis i know this was kind of long didn't expect this video to go this long but there was a lot to cover um thank you guys though for watching stay tuned for tomorrow um 
that's basically it guys peace and love as always